Well, good afternoon, my friends, again. Here we are at what I'm calling holy planting times. So it's been a while since I was out here in the garden. It's been quite cold, and uh, with Easter and everything else that's going on, I'm kind of busy. So I'm a little late this year in planting peas. Peas I traditionally plant on St. Patrick's Day, but this is uh, already the end of April. But it's still cool weather, so they like the cool weather. So we're going to plant some peas today. Now, first of all, you have to know you need a trellis for peas. So I've planted four stakes in the ground, and I've dug up the ground in front where I want to plant my peas. I've mixed a little bit of chicken manure, because that's a very good fertilizer, and I've mixed that in the soil already. Now you have to have your uh, trellis, as I say. So I took some good old-fashioned uh, concrete um, forms that you use, you know, to make sidewalks and what they use. And you just put them up against your stake and you have to tie them in place. Of course, the best way to do that is with a twist tie. And you just continue down the line. You make sure they're nice and tight against your stake. Because it can get windy and the peas really need something strong to hold them up. Otherwise, they'll get all beaten up. And you can see that I have an extra height on this. That's because I can always add another grid of the wires as the peas grow. It's very simple, very simple to do, okay? And you add another section here. But now I have to plant my peas. So I'll show you, we got two different kinds. I have a snow pea. Okay, I didn't grow these by seeds this year because, as I say, it's been kind of crazy. So, unfortunately, this year I did go to uh, a nursery and buy them. But it's good; it's keeping small business in business, and uh, that's fine. So, and this is a sugar snap pea, and they're delicious. My nephews, who are uh, my nephews and niece, who are in Texas and New Jersey, when they come to visit. If the peas are in bloom, they love to just pick them off and eat them raw, which I do as well. So you need to space them out. So we have some two, four, six in each. So there's 12. So there's plenty of room here. I'll plant six on one side and six on the other. And I'll show you how to do that. So I know it looks kind of horrible to do this, but you pull it right out of its little cell pack. There's three pea plants in this one. And you plant it as close as you can to the trellis because they will grab onto it very quickly. You can actually pull out your peas and, and place them where you think you want them. This way you make sure you have enough space. Peas traditionally can be planted about two or three inches apart. So they do support one another. So that's not a problem with these. I should have bought an extra pack perhaps, but they'll be okay. So halfway down, I'll put this second bunch so that they grab on. You make sure you space them out a bit properly. Don't be afraid to press down on the soil. So many people are so gentle with plants, and that's necessary, but Plants are very, very resilient. They really love the soil. They love the sun. Today is that beautiful sunny day we're having. April 24th, I think, or 5th. I'm losing the count of days like everyone else. Oh, look, I just dug up a potato from last year. <laughs> there you go, it was starting to grow. I'm gonna plant it in a, another place a little later. I'll plop that over there. And I put my little sign in that says this half is the snow peas. So we'll do the same thing down here. Now peas, as I say, they don't need a lot of work. They need that fertilizer in the beginning, and they need that trellis, and they need the cooler weather. So we, as much as we want it to get hot, I hope it doesn't get too hot too quickly, because that will inhibit their growth, and we don't need that. But if everything is just right, within a month perhaps, or maybe a little longer than that, we'll have some delicious peas, and you can eat them right in your garden, as I do many times. But there's plenty to pick every day or so, and I just simply 
steam them for about two minutes and they get a bright beautiful green and I don't put anything on them they don't need anything they're just so delicious by themselves so I encourage you to try that these two are a little close together but that's okay they'll grow they'll grow and that's kind of it for now they'll get water tomorrow it's gonna have some rain and in another couple of weeks they'll be growing and I'll, I'll put another top uh, wire mesh so that uh, they can grow high sometimes they grow double this height and you just keep on adding and adding and adding I've had peas that have lasted into almost uh, the end of July so uh, happy planting and that's my garden tip for today God bless you all <laughs>